Hey guys, happy Tuesday to you. Uh, thought I would take you. It's a little after five o'clock here on Tuesday in Nigeria, and I thought I'd take you behind the scenes in the day of a life of a Nigerian small business coach. Now, I'm not Nigerian, uh, but I'm a small business coach, and this is what we've been doing today in Nigeria. Uh, any of you who are small business owners, I thought this would be, uh, be kind of interesting to you. So this morning, we started the day with a small business. It's a beverage distributor here locally. So think Coca-Cola, all of that. Hey, man, Coca-Cola's all over the world. And a lot of Coca-Cola products drunk, uh, drank, whatever you call that, in this area. And uh, those have to be distributed somehow. And so there's a, a local distributor here and ha had an opportunity to meet this morning. And we're going to start meeting together uh, regularly because he's not only got that business, but he's got other business ventures he's interested in. And so we had a time this morning to really talk about vision, mission, values, discipleship, all of these things within the context of business. And so you might say, my goodness, can you do mission work in business around the world? I'm here to tell you, yeah, you can do it. We're doing it right now, and you can be a part of that. So got to meet with a beverage distributor and uh, building an ongoing relationship with him. Second thing we did is we had the opportunity to meet with an organization we've been coaching now for almost a year. It's a real small non-governmental organization called Care Africa. And hit, listen to their mission statement, see if I can remember this right. They invest courage in the voiceless and the exhausted. Man, that's their mission statement. You know, I tell people all the time, your mission statement needs to be something that's real succinct, real portable, memorizable, but something that drives you out of bed in the morning, really gets you amped and excited. And man, doesn't that get you excited? They invest courage in the voiceless and the exhausted. So they serve a lot of either what they call single or double orphans. Here locally, a single orphan means they just have one parent living. A double orphan, orphan means neither of their parents are living uh, or anywhere nearby. And so they serve these children in a variety of different ways. They place them in homes. Uh, they look after them from a caretaker standpoint. Also, they help them uh, with schooling, uh, sometimes with funds, sometimes with clothes. I mentioned Dress for Success, an organization in the U.S. that does that locally in the U.S. Well, Care Africa helps to do that globally here as well in Nigeria, globally, at least as we see it as Westerners. So um, got to spend some time with them. And they have been going nonstop over the last uh, 10, 11 months. They've implemented a lot of things that we've worked on, and it is night and day what their organization has gone through. It's been so exciting to see it on the ground and all the people and the children particularly and the families that they get to serve doing that. And then this afternoon, had the privilege right here in this conference room. Uh, by the way, the power's on, so this is huge right now. Uh, but right here in this conference room, had an opportunity to meet with a leadership team of a local hospital and we've been working through a lot of those issues of vision, mission, values, bringing those things together. We've had a lot of things in the past in terms of documentation, but the, uh, but the current medical director wanted to kind of bring all that together. And so we've been working on a lot of that together with their leadership team, a lot of buy-in, heavy engagement. So it's been a, really a lot of fun this afternoon. So that was a three-and-a-half-hour trek this afternoon, three-and-a-half hours yesterday afternoon. We'll do that two more times. Uh, so they'll have about 14, 15 hours of solid leadership investment in what they're doing. And so we've been able to do that today. It's been so much fun as we've been uh, being able to impact our mission of helping to liberate small business owners and organizational leaders. Uh, stop working in their organization, in their business, and begin to free them up from the chaos of working in their organization. So we liberate small business owners, organizational leaders from the chaos of working in their business. And that's what we've been able to do here today right here in Nigeria. So whatever it is that you do locally, you can also do that globally, and you can do it in the name of Jesus Christ. And, uh, and it's been a lot of fun. So, hey, come on, go with us. We'll have a lot of fun. There's a lot of opportunities here, and there's motorcycles that we get to ride. So that's a lot of fun as well. All right, hope you guys are having a great Tuesday, and uh, hopefully we'll have another update for you. Hopefully our Internet will continue to kick along like it's been doing, and we'll have some, some more updates for you as well. Let me know if you've got any questions. Love to be able to answer your questions about the Nigerian culture, uh, what we're doing, where we're at, uh, the type of people that we're having the honor and the privilege of being able to work with. Um, it's really a lot of fun. So I'd love to answer your questions if you have any. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. See ya.